Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely fantastic. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping this morning. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I got. So this is new Iceland takeaway chicken curry noodles. So thank you very much Vortex for recommending this one. Um, it was two pounds. So let's get it open, see what we've got. So this is a new batch into the, uh, oh hey, there we go, look into the Iceland range. Let's, uh, let me get a bit of better light for you look. There we go, that is that. Not looking too bad, is it? It looks quite full as well. <sighs> Plenty of uh, chicken in there by the look of it. So let's have a look, see how long it takes to cook and what the cooking procedure is. <clears throat> there we go, look. You can do it in the microwave, 800 watts, which mine is, 7 minutes and 30 seconds. I can do it in the oven. Uh, for 50 minutes, fan 180, gas 6, oven from frozen. I'm going to do it in the microwave because it's a lot quicker and I'm, I'm busy in the house, so... Uh, Piers film led several times, place the microwave plate, cook for five minutes, stir, replace film lid and cook for a further two minutes, 30 seconds, standing for one minute before serving, making sure it's piping off, of course. <laughs> so I'd just like to take this opportunity as well to say thank you. I, I, last night about 11 o'clock, I've just gone over the 2,000, 2,000 uh, foodies who join in the channel. I'm absolutely bowled over, I can't believe it. Uh, it's, it took us, well, I got them in about five days. You guys have been busy. Wow, five days. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, you know, thanks, thanks very much for uh, all your comments as well. I'm, I'm trying to get through every single one. I'm spending a lot of my time answering comments, but I wouldn't change it for the world. So thank you very much for that. And uh, let's see where this goes, eh? So what we should do is get this in the microwave and I'll bring you back when it's done. So it's done, <clears throat> it's um, seven and a half minutes and 800 watts. Tell you what, it's now smell good. Do now smell good that, this is my, this is my brew this. I'm doing a bit of grafting in the house like so. Stop for a brew. So let me tell you a little bit about the dish. It's a 375 grams. Um, and the calories per microwave, 421 calories, not too bad really. I need the calories. I must be burning them off upstairs. Um, so it's cooked noodles with cooked seared chicken breast strips in a mild curry sauce. So thank you very much Vortex for recommending me this dish. Um, and it was two pound, I don't know I've said that. There you go, I'm saying it again. So let's have a look at the dish then. There we go, that is that. There we go, look. Let me see if I can get a bit of better light for you. There we go. Wow, it's burning my hands. Ah, ah! <laughs> it's burning my hands. So I think uh, we should get into this dish, shouldn't we? See what it's like. Um, the noodles. It's going to be messy. What I'll do, I'll put it down, let's stand down so you can see me a bit better. It's going to be a messy one. Right, I think I'll get a spoon in first and try the sauce. Try the sauce. There we go, sauce and a few bits and bobs, look. If you can see that there, look. Ooh, looking forward to this. Mmm, mmm, that is lovely, yeah. It's well seasoned. You don't need no more salt. Let's get another little bit. It's mild as well. It says it's mild, so it's not strong. Mmm. Oh, that is lovely. Vortex, you did say it was nice, didn't you? That is nice as well. Let's try a bit of this chicken. So it's a seared like chicken. There it is. Oh, nearly. Nearly wet me tea. <laughs> curry, curry tea. The chicken's tender and moist. It's got that seared coating on it and I'm not, not particularly keen on that really. Um, not 
not keen on the seared coating they've done. I'm getting it's I'm getting the taste of that. I mean, I think it'd have been better if it was just unsee unseared chicken, you know, um, because that's quite a quite a strong taste. That seared taste, uh, you might like it, but it sort of differs from the flavour of the curry. Mmm, that's all. Well, I'm getting that seared taste. I don't really like that, to be honest. Well, that's me. That's just my personal opinion. I'll, I'll put it in a dish and we'll have a... We'll get into it. Rather than eat out of this container. These are great, these containers, you know. Um, you can... You can reuse these, you know, wash them out and reuse them for all kinds of different things. They are, they don't have cook it well. I must admit, it is piping hot. There's no, like, cold spots in it. In the olden days, you know, whenever you microwave summer, it, it, was, it, was, it was pretty damn naff, wasn't it, really? But nowadays, they seem to have booked their ideas up with microwaving stuff. You know, these containers, that's going in the wash. I'm going to wash that. Use it again. Try and recycle what you can. So, these are the noodles, look. Got vegetables in there as well. Let's have a look what vegetables are. Oh my lord, look at all them. Chicken breast, 97%. There we go. Um, water cooked seared chicken strips, 16%. Chicken breast, 97%. Uh, it's got carrots, peppers, spring onions, all the other sort of stuff. But there's the noodles, look. There we go. Can you see them? It's a bit of a dismal, dreary day out there. But uh, it's been raining as well. It red hot yesterday and it's raining today. Anyway, I couldn't sleep last night. It was too hot. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, them noodles don't have just slip down. They're so tasty. With all that sauce coated on them as well. That curry sauce is lovely. It's not too sweet. It just sits right, really. You know, some curry sauces you get in, they're just piled as piled of sweetness in, aren't they? But this is okay. It's not hot neither. It's just a mild one. I think there's too many on there, is it? What do you reckon? Yeah, maybe there is. You're all probably looking and going, no! <laughs> I'm going to try a bit of this chicken again because I want to make my mind up. You can sort of see the seared bits on it. They're like black speckles. Not for me, that really. Yeah. Comes towards the back end. I don't like it. I don't like that taste. I mean... I'm, I'm, of course, I'm going to eat it. Just that seed bit on the chicken for me just spoils it, but there you go. It's still a good dish. I'm still going to wolf this down. Oh, I just can't get any small sort of quantity of noodles on this fork. Anyway, there it is. Look, have a look at that. There we go. So if you like this kind of thing and you like the content, give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, maybe consider. That'd be fantastic if you could. So all the best, take care, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, mark it. Sorry, nearly forgot again. That's a good 8 out of 10. It's a good, it'd probably be a 9 out of 10 if it wasn't seared on that. It was two quid if it wasn't seared, the chicken. I just don't like that taste, the seeredness. You might like it, but I don't. So it's a good 8 out of 10. And I, and I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it again. I wouldn't get it again for myself. But that's because of the sea chicken. Anyway, I'll stop going on about sea chicken. I get loads of comments. Sea chicken. Oh no. No, I have started the comments. Sea chicken. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going. Take care. All the best. Catch you on the next one.